The FAA's infamous remote ID was upheld in a federal court. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys, it's Anthony, and in today's video we're talking about the FAA and more importantly, their remote ID regulation. I saw this interesting article on Drone XL and I thought I would make a video about it and share some of my thoughts. So as you can see here, Haya Castello wrote this article, FAA's remote ID for drone regulations upheld in court. So the article goes on to say, the United States Court of Appeals for the District Columbia Circuit has upheld the Federal Aviation Administration's remote ID for drone regulations. Tyler Brennan and Ray Stayquads LLC had taken the FAA to court over remote ID. Today we learned that Judge Cornelia Pillard denied the petition and upheld remote ID for drones. In the opinion, the judge started by acknowledging that the court is aware that Drones are coming, lots of them. They are fun and useful, but their ability to pry, spy, crash, and drop things possesses real risks. Free-for-all drone use threatens air traffic, people and things on the ground, and even national security. Congress recognizes as much. In 2016, Congress passed a law that requires the FAA to, quote, develop consensus standards for remotely identifying operators and owners of unmanned aircraft systems and to quote issue regulations or guidance as appropriate based on any standards developed end quote so i'll leave the link to the article in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and read it for yourself there's a lot of information in there but i read enough of the information to where i feel i can share my opinion so I feel that remote ID is both a good and bad thing, and let me explain. So it's a bad thing because we're now letting the government have more control over our privacy as drone pilots. They will now be able to see exactly where we are standing when we're flying our drone. This to me is a little overreaching, especially for us who do follow the rules and, and do everything by the book, but there are a lot of people who don't. And there are a lot of people who use drones for different crimes and whatnot. So I understand the need for law enforcement to be able to do this in certain situations. It just really sucks that it's going to affect law abiding people like myself who do follow all the FAA's regulations. But I remember when I was covering remote ID a while back, I remember reading something about how people with their cell phones with different applications are going to be able to also track me. So for example, if I'm shooting a real estate listing and somebody doesn't like the fact that I'm flying a drone in their neighborhood, well, now they know exactly where I'm standing. Do I want them to have that information? No, not really, if I'm being honest. That is my concern with that whole bit of, of the remote ID regulations. Overall, there have been a lot of people who have abused drones. And unfortunately, it's getting to the point where the government is reacting to it. And while the majority of us don't abuse drones, it's gonna affect us because of the people who didn't care about the rules before or decided to not know the rules and did something really reckless and whatnot. So that's really my whole thing about remote ID. Um, I understand why we might need it, but I also understand the arguments against it. Let's have a discussion, share what you think about remote ID, what you think about this case. Do you think that the government is fair with proposing remote ID? Or do you think that the government is out of line when it comes to remote ID? Very interested to hear what you think about that. But if you enjoyed today's video and you want more drone news, videos about drones, tutorials, vlogs, all types of content, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And also please give this video a thumbs up. That way it ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.